Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new video. Behind us is the new Megan and uh, we're gonna take an in-depth tour of the exterior, interior, infotainment, all the details. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click the little bell to get notifications when I upload a new video. It's gonna be separated video of me driving, point of view, no talking, just pure driving, and then a separated night video where I'm gonna summon my impressions behind the wheel and you can see the ambience at the night. So uh, let's, without further ado, jump into the review. Okay, everyone, so let's check the new Renault Megane facelift. So this is the edition one. Uh, we have a 1.4 TCE uh, turbocharged four-cylinder inline petrol engine linked to seven-speed automatic. Price is 28,000 euros with few options like navigation, uh, spare tire and uh, safety. And plus we got the uh, brown solar color and uh, let's check uh, the key of the new Megane. Kind of goes like a creamy uh, macchiato or coffee to go. So we have the key, nice slim design, pretty light. We have the uh, unlock lock button. We can unlock the cargo and we can turn on the LED lights. So you can see those LED, these are standard. So uh, let's come a little bit closer, check these out. So these are Renault LED Pure Vision. Once you approach the car, car unlocks. And then if I press the uh, LED lights, you can see these are projector LED lights. Uh, Renault doesn't have uh, with a lens matrix. Uh, they will come in uh, a year or two with a new model that will be launched. Uh, that's what they say. We have a fog light on the bottom, parking sensor. So this car has an option of uh, self-parking. And what's interesting, if I come closer to the front here, we can see those nice signature lights. Uh, this uh, Renault Diamond is uh, like transparent glass. Uh, this is where the radar for the distance and emergency braking is. And if we back up here, you can see the air intake uh, on the top and the bottom. Now, I'm gonna keep the key in my pocket. Uh, we're going to show you heads-up display inside. We have the lane assist camera, light and rain sensor, standard. Uh, and uh, while well, there's no traffic, just to show you the car, looks very elegant. And we have here 16-inch alloys, 205-55 R16. The car is a little bit annoying. Every time you get close, it unlocks and keeps locking, so you'll have to deal with it. Uh, Michelin. And these are Primacy 4 excellent tires. I have them on my own car. These are a recommendation. Uh, nice alloy, uh, more uh, rubber, so more comfort. Now, to show you the car, nice profile. We have tinted windows in the rear factory. The chrome for elegancy uh, on the door handles as well. And uh, this is the look from the rear. Uh, Nice redesigned uh, LED headlights. So they're not on at the moment, but they do reflect. So you can see those. Uh, it do really look elegant. So again, this is a refresh. Now, if I turn on the LEDs, uh, you can see them, how they look and they connect. So this is sort of Renault's now signature uh, LED. Uh, so, on the bottom, we don't really see exhaust. I would really have to come close. So maybe then, or maybe not. Uh, actually, Renault might have it on the uh, other side. Actually, nope, nope, it's here on the left. And we have fog light on the rear, parking sensors, LED license plates. Uh, now we have to use uh, on the bottom to unlock. Uh, you can unlock it with a key and we also have this uh, camera 180 degrees fish eye lens so that's we have a stoplight and a little washer for the rear now locking the car and i'm just going to press here so back up so you can see the whole car there we go so it opens fairly tall and we have 402 liters 1,258 if we knock down the seats. So they can knock down 60, 40. No middle opening. We do have a height loading area. So five and then almost 11 fingers of height. It's pretty tall. 
and we do have uh, child anchors. So, and let me show you here. You have a spare tire. That's an option and a fire extinguisher. So you can still add some stuff uh, over there. Over here behind this area is for the lifting if you need to tow the car. You have here to the points and over there. So that's it. Uh, and over here as well, both sides. Uh, and we have one light on the uh, left side. Of course, you can unbuckle these and then remove the shelf if you need to. I'm gonna close it up. So occasional traffic, but I'm uh, on a safe distance of the road, no worries, if you're new to the channel. So just to show you here, if you press, when the car is unlocked, you can unlock this. And then you can see here is the recommended fuel, uh, in this case, petrol. Uh, and it uh, doesn't have a cover, so you just plug it in and refuel. When you close it uh, and when the car is locked, then see you cannot unlock it so you're safe no worries and we do have sort of integrated spoiler and this side uh, so it's nice and aerodynamic and a big shark fin on the top in the color of the vehicle so just to show you door handles uh, front ones has the button to unlock or lock and not to miss a uh, physical blind spot in the mirror and you can see you can have a light here that warns you when there's incoming traffic. Let's hear the opening. Closing sound, pretty solid. And the door's a little light on the rear. Now, let's check the seals. Double seal. And then over here, one seal. So the soundproof is on a decent level, I would say in the average, good. You can press to the side here to lock from the inside for the kits. And that's it. The doors don't go all the way down. So uh, we have standard plastic, hard plastic on the rear, speaker there and on the bottom. Now you can see there's a water bottle. So uh, and a little area in there. And then you can see here, this is padded uh, nicely soft and this is soft have a little chrome there so the windows go like to this height so not all the way and you can see here roman 5 means this is the factory tint now uh, we have a nice seat belt holder so if you need to knock down the seats well it's not in the way all the way but if you put it like this then you can see here not a flat bottom you do have this hump but uh, this is how it looks when the seat is down. If you need to carry some stuff, it doesn't automatically push out, so you have to use some force. And looking at the seats, so interesting, they have bolsters, look at this, and the middle is uplifted. So this is going way down, and then, okay, on the top a little bit, not much going inside, and this is sort of the look and you can see those LED lights on the top. Of course, you can adjust the headrest and then press here to lower it down. So let's hop in. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me for saying so, it's just some stupid habit I, uh, came into my mind uh, subconsciously. Uh, enough feet room. Okay, a little tight to be honest. Pockets here and then well, I'm a two meter tall person, 6.6, .6, so more than average. Uh, so I'm a little tight because I was sitting on the front and in that case, it's gonna be a little tight. tight. Uh, AC, two USB-A chargers for fast charging and a uh, 12 volt outlet. That's pretty practical. Uh, over here is the lumbar support for the driver. So uh, odd place, usually it's on the other side. And uh, this is the look at the front. Now you can see inside the windows are long, kind of shortening on the end. And then this area could be a blind spot, really isn't. But when I was driving, it was just really good to check my blind spot. Now, 
LED lights on the top. You can turn them off or just put them on when the lights are on or you can just turn them on individually if you're in the car driving. So, okay, let me see here. Take this water bottle out. Closing sound. Okay, it's okay, I would say. Now to show you the headspace. So if I straighten my back, my knees, yeah, that's a problem. But let's be honest, if you're an average person, it should be, it should be okay. So let's get on the front. And okay, uh, just almost missed it. Uh, this is uh, adjustable and we do have a grocery hook on the top here and this kind of fastly closes up. You don't have it on the driver's side for some reason. Okay, back all covered. Let's hear the front. Okay, it's same, nice sound. So my water bottle test here. Hmm. Okay. So. Then you have this greeting sound that's, you can turn it off, but it's kind of loud. Just wanted to show it on, turn it on for the demonstration. Um, same seals, inside, outside. And so this is, this is a little soft. This is covered with a soft and material, so it's a little bit padded. Uh, aluminium, actually this is more like plastic door handles, just imitation of aluminium. You have ambient lights on the front, uh, nothing on the rear. And then again, soft touch materials. Uh, so you can press here on the other side, uh, keep it in the middle to adjust the mirrors. You can auto fold them. All windows are automatic power windows and you can lock the rear when the car is on. And uh, speaker on the bottom. Now you can open these doors even wider so a lot easier access. Here is the tire pressure information. You can spec 16 inch only uh, and Looks like, oh, you can spec a 17 inch, okay. So, and you have to have a higher tire pressure for safety. If you need to avoid an accident suddenly or a moose, it goes zigzag, higher tire pressure in the rear. Uh, have that in mind for safety. Now, uh, these are our manual seats, obviously. This is for um, up and down. So actually, let me see. Oh, okay, so this one, you push it up and then you can, uh, lean back and forward and then you push this up and you can slide the seat back and forward uh, there are profiled so you have a big bolster here over here but a little going to the side so not really sure but they are comfy to be honest and this is up lifted a bit and you can see those comfy headrests and they look okay to me when i was sitting so felt good as well uh interesting paddles uh i guess speaker or air vent i'm gonna pop the hood later and here's your lights uh height and cluster brightness you can unlock this and adjust the stern column all directions inside outside up and down and let's just hop inside because mosquitoes are starting to bite me okay closing sound again water bottle inside okay just a moment Once again, mm, okay, slightly rattling sound, but okay. Uh, I guess all the cars make some sounds. And no car has perfect closing sound, but I heard a little bit better. So more money, more better sounds when closing your doors. So switching to wide lens and here is our point of view. So there's gonna be a separate video point of view driving. Don't miss it, no talking and the night would review zooming back in so the dash is soft no worries a speaker on the top both sides uh, one big in the middle you have a heads-up display this part is plasticky so that makes sense um, air vents classical open and closed you can adjust here and let's see the steering wheel so we have a nice Smooth leather, flat bottom, three-spoke steering wheel, black stitches. This is your cruise control. This is for the distance, 
set or reset <clears throat> excuse me this is set this is reset this is for the speed limiter and cruise control and this is just to turn it off heading this uh at some point so i uh, just to show you i did a uh, fuel run so uh 45 kilometers four liters you can get five if you're a little faster but if you're really gentle driving in normal settings driving between 60 and 80 you can get this consumption uh just about the cruise control so uh i was wrong uh you could uh set the speed and then you can just keep pressing uh to increase it by one kilometer or hold to increase by 10 uh, same for a lowering as uh, zeros to like pause and then uh, press reset to continue on then on the other side we have here voice uh, commands and phone calls to answer or drop we have the menus uh, okay and then inside the menus to select uh, which one of these we want to change and then inside of those we can change stuff as well uh, lights keep your lights on automatic this is for the fog on or off and then you can see here turn signals on the other side we have uh pretty much explanatory self-explanatory uh, uh rear washing and uh once uh wash and then uh, up and down and you can have here uh, then intervals like that's pretty much self-explanatory uh start stop engine and then we have this nice screen it's vertical just like on tesla not horizontal actually yeah okay and a little aluminium over there so this is soft and then hard plastic on the bottom so eh, kind of slowly and then it just drops uh, but very spacious glove compartment you can see that there's one light no ac inside you have a coin holder a uh, business card holder and let me see here some receipts from the fuel so you have your uh, get your renault book with user guide and over here you can see some space you can put some insurance documents here so this is nice and cloth so that's kind of neat let me just put that thing over there and just for the creation audience so this is the spec and the price so total price is 20 eight thousand euros and we have here um so brown color is an option spare wheel navigation plus parking self-parking and uh safety premium plus package whatever that is uh you can find it in your local configurator because different markets have different um configurations so the seats are okay i really like these seat belts from mercedes i believe and a Tesla also uses them. They're really nice and light, so I love those. And I uh, just noticed how the roof is nicely profiled, so you can have more space going towards the back. And then, um, nice big screen. So look at these. So you have nice dials for the AC and shortcuts. I love physical buttons. And here is the uh, start stop off auto starts up off a uh, lane assist you can turn it off uh, have a warning or lane keeping and this is self parking usually the feature i don't test because people are uh, unpredictable on parking lots and if you are a good driver you know how to park total outlet um, and then we can see here two usb a's and a use uh, aux in so sorry the camera doesn't want to focus we have a nice rubber mat on the bottom for your phone although it fits nicely in here at least my 12 pro it does seven speed automatic i'm not a huge fan i'll explain why in my point of view driving so don't miss that video it looks really nice in the dark you can see the ambient lights and then over here we have driving modes electronic parking brake and auto hold a little compartment for something shutter with adjustable cup holders and you can actually adjust this uh, as you want so you can have a smaller cup bigger cup um yeah and rubber mat it's a little bit dirty the other press people didn't clean it up uh armrest that extends it's nice and comfy has some leather with a contrast stitching just like on the seats i forgot to mention 
carpet inside and there's some space here you can see here so let me see here like that long so and you have to press this button in order to unlock it um so let me just see here a little flimsy okay now i think we're going to just show you the headspace so plenty of headspace and my view so this is my angle you can see a little bit the hood good overview and the mirrors and the rear as well and if you need to check your blind spot not a huge deal i did back up to sit a little bit for filming but i think it's good and just to wrap it up on the top so we have a nice baseless mirror looks premium uh airbag information on the top for the passengers led lights emergency call on the top no glasses compartment could have added that maybe a uh, little speaker on the top and then we have your privacy mirror that turns on the light documents holder and let's see if this extends hmm, it usually doesn't so yeah this area will be shining in your uh, uh, left side so um, I think that's it we can turn on the start stop Old buzz sounds from the electronics you can see those uh, lights on the top will go off eventually when you start driving and let's try to uh, cover the cockpit so um, press ok so the graphics is really uh, good and nice the after is black for some reason I guess they didn't add the brown color so engine is not on I just turned on the electronics so I'll show you here um, you can see here you can have service um, you can have a big navigation and you can have here uh, when you're on the side a little triangle here you can change these um, so you can have uh, fuel consumption so the, uh, there was a person before me testing the car for the city so that's why the consumption is high I'm gonna reset it and do a test in the night so you can swipe through those um, again so this changes over here you can now swipe again with the buttons you can have nothing you can have consumption journey and tire pressure pressure information oil change and service and then if you press the little button over here you can go to the music you can change radio station or you can go to the navigation and it turns you full navigation which is in dark mode so it doesn't um, stay in the day mode like on the screen and uh, that's pretty much it. Um, the screens do have different avatars uh, depending on the driving modes. So in this case, let's just press this. So we have uh, my sense, and then you can press this button in order to change or swipe through the driving modes, which makes no sense. You have to actually press it inside and you have sport, you have comfort and you have echo. And uh, let me just show you now if I back up so you can see the Echo avatar on the in digital cockpit. Comfort, so just do blue. A little change on the support here. Then you get this roof counter and on my sense. So in the support, uh, when you turn on the car, you get also the uh, informations on the side. So again, you can just uh, have here stuff like that you can have a minimalist and then over here you can change uh stuff but uh, personally i like it on a minimalist it's kind of more cooler in my uh, personal opinion and over here so it changes uh, also the map depending on that um, uh, in this you can reset it here or edit current mode you press on the bottom and then uh, over here we have the settings you can change so uh, the camera is fighting with the light so you can change the steering to comfort regular or sport um, you can turn on the sound for the fake sound that it's projected through the speakers but like i personally don't like that comfort or regular you can also change the specs here and then lightning you can change here and the brightness for the bottom and the top and you can change the lights so it can be white green and then it changes the um, cockpit you can see those colors so 
uh, I'll have to switch to my white lens there. So again, a white, blue, green, red, violet. Ooh, this looks like Mace Window. Um, and then blue, and it can, I'm uh, more, more like, this blue is something like uh, Luke Skywalker. And then we have here, orange and yellow and this is more like a jedi blue i guess <laughs> a little reference to star wars uh anyways uh coming back so let me just zoom back in so those are the stuff you can change and then here the cluster oh so you can change it here as well huh regular comfort and echo so you can see all four avatars I didn't have to go through that okay okay oh this is my sense so hmm Okay, and let's just keep it on regular then, I guess, and cluster, comfort, or regular, eh, regular. Okay, that doesn't matter. You can change that to your personal preferences. Uh, back to home screen. So this is your home screen. Uh, camera's finding a little bit, if we come a little bit closer, there we go. You can see the map, and then over here, if I back up, it's going to freak out. Um, Okay, so over here you have uh, on the bottom you can change your driving modes. That's pretty cool. You can see uh, current uh, location weather information, and then you can see the driving assistance. So you can have here two seconds warning, uh, active braking, uh, warning, uh, monitor assist for the driver not to get uh, sleepy, blind spot warning, lane assist, and traffic sign. Um, well, again, if you press it here, then it changes, but the car is uh, not on fully. And then over here is your volume controls. Now, there's a second lever, actually, excuse me, third one uh, over here. This is for the volume. You have buttons and you have one for the mute. And this is for the rolling for the station uh, change. And then over here, well, I'll have to change the steering wheel. You can see mode. This is for changing to USB, Bluetooth or radio. And then one on the top, you have uh, sources on the top two buttons, but I might show you that later if I don't forget. And uh, over here, uh, this is sort of a home screen, two pages. You can press here and then you can go to minimal display. So it's just black. Tap in, you wake it up or you can go to the standby and this gives you an avatar with daytime temperature. Uh, also nice. And then over here, you can radio music on or off uh, so let's let's demonstrate the speakers um, you can press it here okay so I can't play it for too long uh, I have to keep talking in order not to get a copyright strike so uh, I think they're decent but uh, I would upgrade if there is an option and just to show you now on the bottom here, uh, you have uh, multiple icons. So if I come a little bit closer, you can see here, this is for the navigation. You can have a big screen. You can have here uh, north. You can see the streets from the top. You can see uh, routes. And then you can see weather and all that stuff. This would bring you to the main, main menu. You can have here previous destination, favorites, point of interest, route options, traffic map, if you go to that, it's going to show you traffic, live traffic. Um, and then settings here, you can have all this uh, settings. Traffic signs, over speed sound alert, risk alert, uh, area display, okay. Traffic signs on, okay. Uh, weather display information, uh, point of interest, country information, zoom, auto display, day off. So let me show you here, this would be the night. So that's how it looks. There you go. And then the menu for the back to the um, automatic. Now, also interesting, my car could be an arrow or it can be your car or it can be like Renault sports car or formula. So that's pretty cool. Um, okay, so settings here, traffic map. Uh, okay, so the screen is fairly responsible, I would say, as well. Uh, now go to the radio stations. You can swipe here for the pages. You can see list. You can see frequency, or you can see uh, presets. 
it's a nice uh, a layout. It's colorful, but the screen, uh, the camera at least, is uh, refusing to focus. Um, nope. Okay, coming back. Uh, music. You can have source, connect with the Bluetooth. So cutting this in, uh, when you're on radio stations, you have this uh, very extensive list. You can memorize 30, almost 30, so 27 presets. Uh, on the dots here, you can go to radio settings, and you can see here radio text, a region, uh, traffic information, uh, and a hem band. You can turn this off. This is not used, uh, but um, over here, you can also go to the uh, sound settings and in that case you can see here you can see uh, natural launch club and a live music you can uh, have the balance feeder front manual like on the driver perhaps or centered and uh, <clears throat> you can adjust the volume speed and audio custom uh, volume so uh, those are your sound settings and then over here you have a voice and you have phone and other sound settings. Um, so uh, that's quite nice. And you can see the car a little bit. Uh, uh, it's not completely dark, but you can see uh, all this stuff. And you can see the heads up display as well. And uh, also, I just wanted to show you, you do have a automatic headlights, you see there. And uh, the turn signals are just, uh, this is full. You can just tap it and then you have like three uh, comfort and you can see also the ambient lights in this how it looks so it looks very very elegant you can change the colors uh, for the front um, phone you can connect your phone and then have uh, phone calls applications video and photo looks like no apple carplay or android auto uh, driving echo so you can hear your total score, acceleration, anticipation, um, and stuff like that. Coaching, I guess you can get some uh, information here generally. Uh, it had try to hit a green score, tire pressure information. And uh, here are suggestions and notifications. Uh, on the top, you always have like, the last thing you were using, temperature and time. Vehicle information and system information so and driving assistance I showed you that in a different menu parking assistance front side um, rear so when you're in reverse there's a, like arrows warning you if there's a car coming uh, on the side so here's a demo of the rear cross traffic alert And you can hear you see camera as well. You can adjust the, the camera. So here's the camera. Again, camera, uh, my camera is uh, a little bit fighting. The steering does change when you move the steering wheel. And you can change the sounds. So you can go here, then you have. And you can change that. It's gonna turn off. So you can pick a sound you want. Uh, Multisense, of course, or another shortcut. Climate control, you can have it on soft, normal, or fast, and you need to turn it on. The car and car configuration, internal. Uh, so over here, external welcome, internal welcome, and automatic cabin light. Um, so I guess we can... Okay, battery and standby mode. So because I was too long, the car... Uh, saves the battery 12 volt battery and then it turned it off uh, i'm gonna turn it on because i'm gonna wrap it up here actually let me, let me just turn on the engine there we go again um why the engine well i can show you the heads-up display so you can see the heads-up display the camera would focus so it's for a little shake i'm gonna cut in a video so you can see it's basic information uh you can adjust the height it is a little bit limited, but it's enough information, so it's okay. Although it's on a plexiglass, I prefer it on a actual windshield. Uh, and over here, uh, we actually covered uh, all the uh, information besides the system. Over here, you have updates, software update, 
check for updates and then I guess you can do it off over Wi-Fi uh, excuse me over uh, air but uh, we're in a blind spot I'm sure there's no uh, signal here and map update I guess you can have here uh, stuff like that and you can do factory reset so this is the whole infotainment uh, and when the AC is on you can see how that works and let me just show you here so climate control you can see how that looks um, what's interesting is this is a little bit has a little resistance but it's still okay you can turn on the AC on or off here you can have different temperature here and then you can synchronize uh, close the air circulation maximum blow uh, rear defrost you can lock the car from the inside and you have here uh, shortcut for this and over here you have automatic so it's normal soft or fast and you can control here the fan speed you can see that and this one to lower it down or turn it off if you hold just leave it on automatic and hazards look at this you can see the hazard lights you can't see them from the driver perspective unfortunately but this doesn't light up all the cars do so i'm not really sure what renault how did they miss this but um uh, that's it so i don't think just there's any lights over here um, and when you're not fastened uh, that's what happens uh, we cover the whole infotainment and uh, that's about it uh, switching off it's a passing car this kind of closes up and let's now exit let's show you the front hood so here we go and almost at the end of the video now interesting Renault has this on the opener on the at least on Megane so excuse me I'm saying Renault or it's actually a Renault uh, or Renault in Croatian. Now, where was this thing? Oh yeah, okay, so you actually need to push it. It's over here. You need to push it forward and then it opens up. Look at this system. So on a different car, it has a different uh, different Renault. So uh, not really consistent. Uh, here is the, uh, again, 1.3 liter TCE, um, four-cylinder inline turbocharged petrol engine producing 140 horsepower again linked to that seven speed automatic have some insulation here despite being a petrol car this is your washer fluid it's mark yellow instead of blue on Renault uh, and that's pretty much it you do have grass struts so this is how it looks but uh, that's it and you're cleaning your car, make sure there's no leaves there over there, and you just drop it, close this perfectly. So uh, there we go. That was uh, the Renault Megane. So everyone, thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you do. Helps me with the algorithm. I'll leave your comments below. What do you think about the new Megane? And uh, of course, stay safe on the road at, at home. I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye.